So Hope Arising was founded in 2007. When we started working in Ethiopia, we went there to help orphans. And we think we're going to do that. They took us and they showed us barren, dry wells, no water. They couldn't wash. They couldn't eat. The greatest need was water. We were just crying. I mean, they were so desperate. The government was trucking in water to keep them alive. So we just kind of looked at each other and said, well, I guess we'll do water. It took us three years, but we got 20 miles of clean spring water down. We built two reservoirs. We added 22 water points. They get water now that's clean. That shows output, but it doesn't show impact. When we were talking and working through our Arbinger strategic plan, they said, but what are you gonna measure for impact? And we hadn't thought of that. And as we started to talk and work through the process of getting beyond outputs into impact, the measurable thing that we finally came up with was the number of kids in school. Before, when they had water, the number of kids in school was high and consistent, and as the water situation deteriorated, the attendance rates just declined dramatically. Again, it came back to Arbinger, and it came back to, how do you show that all these things are actually changing lives? It began with water because there was no water in the area, and it has evolved. We had a plot map with the ratio of how much they're spending on food, and you see it going from 100% down to 50%, and you see the trend line, and you realize that all these sub-programs, all these outputs, all of it is coming together and changing the life of that family. I think it's exciting for donors. They want to see that it's not just a black hole where you keep giving and these poor people still have need. But if you can say, now look, this group of families, instead of spending 100% on food, is only spending 50%, and they're sending their kids to school every year now, and they have a savings, and they can go to the health center, then you're seeing, okay, this matters. This makes a big difference. And that's what's unique. And that, to me, is what makes it a development project and not just a charity project.